Hello, I am excited and nervous to film this video, but I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So I originally saw this video when Hope Scope did it and it made me laugh so hard. So all credit goes to her for being the originator of this idea. But I thought it would be fun to do it too, so I'm gonna go on to the Fashion Nova website and order their least rated or like lowest rated pieces. So the way that I am doing my research, because there's a lot on their website, like there's like 10,000 pieces of clothes, and every time I would just try to go to the general website and scroll all the way to the bottom, um, my website would crash. So what I'm doing is I'm going to the sales section in each category. Wait, how do I screen record? And then I'm going to the sale in each category and scrolling all the way to the bottom, girls. So we're gonna get basically the last pick of the litter when it comes to dresses, bathing suits, tops, jeans. You get the point. I have found some pieces on here that are interessant, so I cannot wait to order them and see what shows up. And this is no shade to Fashion Nova. I used to work with them in the past. I feel like any brand, if you put out a lot of things, you're gonna have your hits and you're gonna have your misses. Like, it's kind of inevitable. So, just in the spirit of having fun and experimenting with some misses, if they are really misses, who knows? Maybe I'll find some tea. Maybe I'll find some amazing pieces that I'll keep in my closet forever. Okay, so the first thing I'm ordering is this gold dress. I am very skeptical about this material. It's giving me garbage bag and yeah, I mean in this one picture it looks good, like this Instagrammy one it looks good, but I guess we're gonna have to see what it looks like in person. The material is kind of comfortable. Like I do feel really comfy. Oh, I'm just like imagining if I had to wear this somewhere. Oh no. I mean, maybe if it was steamed, we could get somewhere with it. I also kind of feel like an Oscar. I don't think this is terrible. Like on a scale of one to 10, I would rate it a three because it's not the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. But I definitely would not choose for this to go to a fiesta of any sort. Some of these are interessant. Like. Okay, I feel like I have to get this done. So this is called the Cloud Nine Jumpsuit and it reminds me of those purses from Limited 2 in like the early 2000s, you know what I'm talking about? Like you know how we all had that like big bag with these little shimmers? It also reminds me of that book with the fish. Remember the one that would give away all his little scales and it was about sharing and they showed us that book in school? Do you know what I'm talking about? The giving fish, is that it? Am I great? Comment if you know what I'm talking about. Like whoever came up with this design, I just wanna know like where are we supposed to wear this? Get the limo right front. Ooh, oh. Um, I'm not gonna lie that <laughs> it is interesting. I mean, I do like this cut and I like how this goes all the way to the back. I do think like that is something. What I don't love is how the crotch is like dropped all the way down here. Like I feel like it should be fitted. Everything about this is bad. Um, I don't know if I had to wear this where I would go, but I cannot wait to take this off of my body and never put it back on again. Okay, now let's look at some jeans. So this is the lowest rated pair of jeans on their website. These jeans are just, uh, how you say, not my style. I can't even do this with a straight face. I'm like not even trying to be shady. These for some reason give me very Fashion Nova. Like when I think of Fashion Nova, this image will pop into my mind. So let's give these girls a whirl and maybe I'll look cute in them. What do you think about these pants? Oof, I hate them. <laughs> it looks like 2014, like it would be cool. No, it's still stuck in 2014. Right. Even return, at least. Yeah, but I believe Fashion Nova only gives store credit. Oh, that's kind of worthless. Next, we have athleisure. So we have this top. It's like this mesh detail. It doesn't look that bad. Like, I actually think the top is kind of okay. It's the bottom for me, though. Like, uh. Everything that I open, like, has this smell to it. And I just opened that bag and things just started flying out of it. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I got these biker shorts. They're workout shorts. And they come with this little top. Okay, I really hope this is actually for working out because I 
could not imagine wearing this like for any other occasion. Like wearing this for a night out would feel a little kooky. I will say these shorts actually fit really nice and I like that the cut goes like this. The back, I don't know why it's making me feel like I have a flat butt. Maybe it comes too high up here. The top I don't mind. Like I actually like this top. I feel cute in this top. Could I see myself doing 12 330 in this? Probably not. It's a little bit much. It's serving me very, I'm 12 years old, almost 13 years old, and the only time I can dress slutty is Halloween, so I'm gonna wear fishnets, put on a police hat, a police badge, and call myself a sexy cop. That's what I'm getting. But it might feel really good working out in these because I swear fishnets give you a different kind of breeze. So now I'm gonna pick a bottom. Their bottoms actually weren't that bad. Like. These aren't like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Definitely not the best. Let's get these because I feel like these are very quintessential Fashion Nova. Like when I think of Fashion Nova, this would be one of the images that would run through my mind. Okay, these honestly, I thought I had the possibility of liking these because I've seen people wear things like this nicely. Um, but they're giving me very like seventh grade Abercrombie pants chopped them in half to be different. But they are doing nothing for my body. Again, I just feel like a tiny little pencil. This is not me, literally not me. I've seen people do the Capri denim well, but this is not it. I'm just confused as why there has to be so many grips. Maybe if these were like baggier, they would be cooler. But these literally look like Abercrombie and Fitch chopped up the knee to be different in the middle school dance. So it's not giving. Okay, so they have a tab specifically for rompers and bodysuits. This is very intriguing to me. I scrolled all the way to the bottom and I found this leather, it's called Dangerous Seduction Faux Leather Jumpsuit. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna get my body into this, but I feel like this could honestly be cute, but just looking at the material, it looks like that. Halloween costume material, like from Party City, that's what it's giving me. So let's see how she looks in person. We're gonna give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm not counting this one out until I see it on my body because this could be a moment. I don't know. For a leather wannabe material, I am surprised at how comfortable it feels so far. It doesn't feel like those annoying leathers that make you sweat and you can't breathe a lot. I also feel like I'm putting on a wetsuit for surfing. This isn't the worst. Like this really is not the worst. I. Uh, Oh, just the back, like nothing's fitted properly, so you get all these weird bunching ups. Like if it was like this and like this and actually framed my body, I would think it's hot. But because there's like this extra fabric, I'm like, eh. But I don't think this is terrible. I, if I had to so far pick an outfit to go out in out of everything I've tried on, it would be this. Because this with a pair of heels, it could be a little, a little bitchy moment. Very comfortable, surprisingly. Like I could do a full blown workout in this. Like I could, I could do the most. Let me know your thoughts. Okay, shoes. The thing with shoes on these websites, like especially online shopping websites, is sometimes the shoes will be made by the brand itself. Like when you're online shopping, it'll be literally labeled with the brand, but sometimes they buy, I don't know, this is just my speculation. They buy these weird shoes and they'll be like these random brands and they'll just sell them on their website and then it's always like the squeaky heels and you're like eh -er, eh -er, or just like the shoes that fall apart after two times wearing them. Um, and I have a feeling these are gonna be that. Let's pick an interessante pair. Like let's just pick something interessante. I feel like I should get these because like what the f are these? Um, you see how the toes like angle up? Like, pew! I hate the shoes with this outfit. Zero squeaks. Okay, Fashion Nova. Come through, Fashion Nova. Honestly, sometimes I shop from nicer brands and like even the expensive shoes are like <laughs> when you walk. So the fact that these like bad ones aren't squeaking, we gotta give it up for Fashion Nova. Got it. Okay, so now I'm gonna pick the worst rated two piece set. Coming in strong, we have this skirt set. It looks like a dress. It's definitely a lot longer than I typically wear. It's not that bad, but I don't know. Maybe when it comes, let's get the red one. Uh, oh no, this one is so, okay. Uh... I feel like for an order for this outfit to make anybody look good, you have to have a body like those Fashion Nova models where it's like 
boo, boo, like in order to give this shape because my body's just giving it like no shape and I feel like a sparkly red pencil. Uh, the top is very itchy, especially like where all the stitching is. I would be itching all night if I wore this. I also kind of feel like a boxer. The fact that you get this little hoodie. The hoodie, uh, this is fun. The top half is fun. If I were to go to a boxing match. And I don't know who I could picture wearing this. Like if you could picture one person wearing this red ensemble, please let me know. Maybe J-Lo? Okay, I want another pair of jeans because when I was scrolling through these jeans, they were so out there and outlandish that I feel like I can get another fun pair. These are this like baggy pair of jeans with like a bunch of rips and different colors and textures of denim and there's definitely a lot going on here. These have a very strong smell to them. I don't know if they smell like dye. These jeans are so ugly. Let me put them on. I feel like anything can be styled correctly. Like you could make this work and make it a moment in a picture, I think. I'm very confused at the length. They're size three. So unless you're like six feet tall, I mean, I guess if you do this, it could, I don't know what's going on here. The print is personally too busy for me. I'm also confused at why there's rips this way and then this way down like a tiger slash. Actually, these could have been a look without the rips, I feel like, because the arrows are kind of fun and I think the different colors of the denim, like the tricolor denim, is doing something different. Also, the butt, it's just like the saddest butt you've ever seen in your life. Like, I've been working on my booty. I have a nice situation back there, but I think it's the pockets that go lower than the actual butt cheek itself. I kind of just make it look like you have nothing going on back there. Even Lou is not impressed. She looks sad. I know. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was a little bit painful and cringy because sometimes that vibe is fun. Let me know in the comments if you would wear any of this or like which one, which garment that I showed you would make your worst enemy wear to prom, to a red carpet. Like, let me know which poison you would pick. I actually had a lot of fun filming this video and I will see you in the next one. I love you guys, bye. Not the peace sign. 2014 really came right out of me. I said, bye.